Welcome to the Berlinale 2022 with Scandinavian Films. I'm Wendy Mitchell. I am thrilled to be here with Sophie Grabel. Thrilled to be here as well. Thank you for joining us. We're here talking about your new TV show, The Shift. Uh, I'm already hooked. I can't wait to see where your character goes. Um, how did you first hear about it? Had you worked with Lona Scherfig? She sort of created the show and has written it. Had you worked with her before? No, I've, I've met Lona many times because it's a small country. Um, but I, I always wanted, I've always wanted to work with Lona. And uh, so she called me, uh, actually, I think it was the very beginning of the, the, uh, the first lockdown. And she said that uh, when she writes, she prefers to write to specific actors. And so she told me about that there weren't any scripts at that point, but um, um, I've always wanted to work with her. And I was immediately intrigued with the whole uh, idea of the, of the show, which is uh, a, a very tight setting because it, it, the whole show series takes place in a maternity ward. Mm -hmm. And we don't follow the characters home to their personal life. Uh, they're only um, uh, portrayed in this very tiny world that um, that ov obviously is a it's a very um, inspiring frame for drama because it is a world where every day um, is unpredictable mm. and and it holds some of the greatest drama in in people's lives. Uh, going from, you know, birth to potential death, from ecstatic happiness to a uh, huge tragedy. So, so, so it's an, I think it's a wonderful um, setting for a drama. And also I, I personally, uh, um, it's, it's a profession, the, the profession of, I've never played a midwife before. A, a maternity ward is obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a place we all, at some point come in contact with mm. um, in one form or another. We've all been born and some of us go there to have children. And I've, I've uh, been in contact with this world twice. I have two children, but obviously uh, it's, 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 it's a very closed world. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, um, it's a world that personally uh, fascinated me. Mm -hmm. And I've been extremely privileged on this project that, that uh, I've been allowed in on a maternity ward and, and, and uh, allowed to observe and visit there a few times. And, and actually I was, I, was, I was also allowed to follow uh, a birth from beginning till end for a whole night. And that was a huge experience and, and very, very uh, inspiring. Wow, that, that's kind of a life changing thing to witness and I, I really appreciate what you said about the show it is it feels so intimate you're in this world mm -hmm. and yeah how much did working or visiting other midwives help you to sort of go right into that place mentally I think it's been the ambition for everyone working on this show that it had a, a real a truthful feeling uh, and obviously it's all shot in one studio. So, so the whole working process has been very concentrated and it has been a very, very strong sense of, of ensemble. Um, and, and actually we were so lucky that, that uh, I think half of our extras were actual midwives. So you know, any, any time you had a, um, a scene that involved, which we had a lot of scenes that involved some sort of medical or, or you know, issues regarding how, how do we make this seem realistic and plausible. You could just turn around and ask any extra, are you by, by, by chance a midwife? And, and, you know, three out of four would say yes. And so, so uh, we, we had a lot of interaction with uh, real midwives. And your character, I've only seen the first two episodes so far, can't wait to see the rest, but she's also got some complicated personal situations. 
going on. Um, so it's not just her work. I mean, we're seeing her at work, but it's also what she's going through as a woman. And can you tell us anything about how she evolves during this season? It's interesting because it's also, I think, the the role of the midwife, I, I at least I had a very, I discovered I had a very fixed image of what a real midwife is like. And I think maybe most of us does. And, and obviously the interesting thing about uh, my line of work is that when you, when you, it's like when you play a police investigator, you, I also had this very fixed idea, oh, they're like that. And then you go and research and find out that they're as different as, as, as any person. Um, and I think the, the, you know, archetypical notion of the prototype midwife is this very, you know, uh, uh, soft, feminine, mother of eight, uh, you know, Mother Earth person. And uh, Ella, whom I'm playing, is is not at all. She's, she's a very ambitious, uh, pretty tough, um, tough woman, very good at her work. And a lot of things she's not very good at. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so, so that if, if I was to speak of her, you know, development during the show is definitely trying to, to integrate um, uh, sides of her personal life mm. and, and not, she's very much her profession. I love that in your career, we've obviously seen you in amazing shows like The Killing and The Undoing. You've also done some great film work uh, like The House That Jack Built or Wild Men recently was a great film I loved. Um, how do you choose roles? Do you, do you enjoy going between film and TV and the differences there? Yes, I've, I've always felt extremely privileged in, in my little country that I, as an actor, you get to play theater and do films and TV. And for me, there's not really a, that there's not really a barrier. I mean, I enjoy uh, working as you know, freely in different genres and different different um, medias. Uh, so I, I I'm always attracted to working with uh, interesting people mm. uh, and uh, and on inter people who who want to tell stories that that intrigue me. That somehow you know uh, wants to challenge. Uh, but but you know it can be it can be an interesting character that attracts you to a project. It can be a director you really want to work with. It can be actors you really want to work with. Um, stories that feel important to tell. Um, lots of lots of things can uh, can be attractive uh, about a project. And we've all been at home a lot. I assume you have too this past year or two. Um, and you're now in Berlin. Mm. You're able to see this show, The Shift, with a public audience with real people yeah, exactly. and that's very special with tv as well with something episodic we don't mm. often no. get to see that with other people so mm. yeah how does it feel to actually have the chance to watch this show with real people well i'm extremely excited about tonight where we have our premiere i haven't seen it so uh, you've saved it Yes, I, I've only seen bits and pieces doing ADR, you know, in a, in a sound studio. I'm very excited and I'm, it, it's so thrilling that, that we're going to show it here in Berlin. Mm, wow. And uh, a lot of actors from our cast are here. So it's going to be a true, uh, wonderful feeling of ensemble on the red carpet tonight. Yes, yes. Great. Enjoy that red carpet. Thank you so much, Sophie Grabble, for being with us here at the Berlinale, and congrats Thank on the shift. Thanks. I can't wait to see what happens to Ella in the rest of the season. I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.